<clears throat> do you ever just find a model that is better than the sum of its parts? I'm talking about this. This is the Utility Knife F1 Gen 2, and it's by Printables user Feyron. And it's absolutely wonderful. The premise is simple. It takes a utility blade, and with three printable parts, it turns it into not just an incredibly useful print, but almost like a fidget device. I've had this in my pocket for days, and I click it back and forth. And it's a sharp blade, so I am careful, but it has been a great utility to have something in my pocket. It's become part of my everyday carry. And I wanna talk more about the model and why I printed it. Uh, but before that, we do need to talk about this. Welcome to 3D Printing Nerd Studios, of course, proudly powered by PCB Way. 8% off, link in the description. You know what to do! Recently, I got in the Sunlu Filament Dryer E2. Now, the previous Sunlu Filament Dryer took four filaments and dried them pretty well. The E2, though, is great because it'll go up to 110 C. So it's not just drying higher temperature materials and keeping the moisture out, it's actually annealing some, if you choose to do so. If you, if you put something in there and you want to anneal it, now you can because it'll heat the chamber to 110 C. The footage you're gonna see right now is when I was a little under the weather, but I did want to get it out of the box and take it out and articulate the magnetic lid which I love. Sunlu also sent a couple filaments to go along with it, some PA6CF and some PA12CF. PA6, PA12 being nylons, it means they are hygroscopic. On the E2, I set it up and I put the nylons in and I set the settings to PA and it started heating the chamber to 100 C and while in use, it got down to 10% relative humidity. And if we have heat, plus low humidity, that tends to keep the moisture out of hygroscopic materials. But Joel, what did you print this on? I'm really glad you've asked. I printed this on the Pantheon HS3. You remember that machine. I went up to Pantheon Designs and I actually built one myself in their shop. Then the crew actually came down here and we got one out of the crate, the box, and CEO Bob got to talk about all sorts of wonderful things. The machine is built like a tank and it's probably one of the most rigid print platforms that exists. It's also a carbon fiber nylon monster, which is great because I happen to have some carbon fiber nylons from Sunlu and their E2 filament dryer. So I hooked the E2 up to the Pantheon Designs HS3 and I set forth on printing the Feyron Utility Knife F1 Gen 2. So there's three parts per kit and I put 10 kits on the build plate, so 30 different carbon fiber nylon parts all to the edge and it printed them crazy well. I did have it on a questionable table though and it did wibble wobble a little bit. So I tried again. First one was with PA12 and the next one was with PA6. Again, I adorned the build plate with parts and again, I set it to print. And this time, I thought I had upgraded the tabletop experience. I put it on top of a non-sponsored FlexiSpot L desk. I'm gonna have to build a table for that because obviously my questionable table and the FlexiSpot non-sponsored desk aren't quite ready to handle its robustness. The prints are done, all of them. I manufactured parts for this F1 Gen 2 utility knife from Feyron. I'm gonna show you how you put it together too because the design is fantastic. First grab your utility blades. Mine are the Stanley 100 Heavy Duty Utility Blades. I've had this for, I wanna say decades. I've done projects around the house and I've done construction projects. Anytime I need a blade, I can have a blade. And then I would lose them or they would get dull. This is like 30% used. Now that you have your blade source, you need to pick out the three pieces that you want. Three parts on the desk, I'm gonna get my blade out safely. Feyron gives print settings within the printables profile for this and seam placement and nozzle suggestions and I was, I read it all and then I just full sent on the Pentheon default carbon fiber nylon profile, so. First the blade goes in. This is gonna go in here to slide back and forth and it can lock into either side because there are two little protrusions and two little arms that lock 
into place. And then this is the ingenious part. So this has two dovetail rails that this slides into, and then a small dot right here to lock it into place. Uh, now you are pushing this towards a very sharp blade. Make sure it's retracted and locked into place. Give it a push. And then once it's at this point, you lift it just slightly to get the bump over the edge, put it in, Yes! This is just a joy, an absolute joy. Printing this, it takes under an hour, and the pieces together go along with something you, you provide, and it gives you something incredibly useful. I'm a big fan of sharp blades. Having them with you in a time of need is fantastic. Feyron's licensing on the model says you can't use it for commercial purposes, but that doesn't mean I can't take all of these and just make gifts for friends or put them together and put them in a jar so that there's always one when I need one. You might be asking if carbon fiber nylon is, is what you need to make it, and that's not the case. I did happen to use two other materials. So uh, I used a recycled PTG from Prusa and I put it on the Pantheon machine but the little posts don't seem to want to stay and it kind of chipped out and it'll, it'll lock up, but it won't lock back. This one is gonna be an ASA material. It's a little too flexible for what I'm thinking I want. It's a little bit harder to, to push out. I don't wanna, let's see if I can, uh, there we go. It's a little harder to push out. It locks in just fine. PLA, ASA, PET G, CF variants of nylons. All of these are gonna be valid for this. And I'd love to hear what you printed in. God, that's it. That's it, that's it. Like the Sunlu E2 did a fantastic job keeping the filaments dry and keeping them at temperature. I used the ASA, the PET G, and both flavors of nylons for this in the E2, it did a good job. The model also by Feyron over on printables, I'll put a link to this too, because I just, oh, there's something about this. I really appreciate you for coming along on this little journey we had talking about incredibly useful 3D prints, incredibly satisfying 3D prints. I just can't stop. Oh, so good. Thanks for watching this far. If you did, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more and fight for a cause you believe in and functionally print all the things. And as always, high five.